Hey guys, Olaf here from LRC. So I have to do a voiceover on this because we had too much wind as you can see in the background. Um, it didn't really allow me to do the voice recording without having so much interference on it. So this is a video regards the pressure switch on the diaphragm pumps which on this one just failed and as you can see I just pump from one tank to another one um, the water over and um, so these are 255 uh, gallon drums but as you can see there's this pressure switch and what happened is it overheated this pressure switch by going on and off a lot and don't know what really happened was the tank dry or uh, something I don't know but this pressure switch is what regulates it and so you have the two connectors um, which are running and when this unit is switching on and off so fast and frequently it overheats overheats to the point as as you can see it actually melted and pretty much destroyed the switch inside uh, you can buy this unit for like less than 10 bucks so don't throw the whole pump away um, just go online or go on our website later on and we'll put it on ours as well for sale and so in order to adjust this pressure switch there's an island wrench two millimeters you can put in in the front and the switch you see in front of this pump handles anything from 30 psi to 80 psi as a trigger switch and as you can see one of the other design flaws um, is that these little um, quick connects don't stay in place the way they should be and so they start corroding um, extremely even this is normally covered up with a little plate and that starts to trigger on top the situation that um, the voltage is shortening out there as you can see how easy I pulled it off and especially if you have that on your rig and you're driving it down the road or you just have it sitting and you don't use it that much um, it will shorten out the electricity when it um, triggers the pressure being rebuilt or water being moved so big tip just go in put solder on so that they don't wiggle around and cause you that big ass ache pretty much uh, what I have that they just fell off and shortened out and overheated the whole thing I just want to make sure they stay correctly in place because if the electric is not flowing correctly um, the pressure is not being built up correctly either so make sure that those connectors are always good so again guys thanks for watching uh, more videos will follow have a good one